about two years ago, um, a buddy of mine gives me a call. He called me up. He said, "Hey, Dave, you want to go look at this car with me? It's a 1974 911 Carrera." And I said, "You know, sure, I'd love to go look because I, I love these cars and I just wanted to see it." Well. As soon as I got there, I knew, you know, I want this car. So we went over to the side and had a little private conversation. I said, you buy the car and then I'll buy it from you, you know, five minutes later. So the day that my buddy and I looked at this car, the owner, and he mentioned he was the second owner, and he said the first owner was one of the Portland Trailblazers, so thought that was cool. It didn't take long to look in the, actually the owner's man who had the original owner's name in it, and it's actually Sidney Wicks. And Sidney Wicks was a key player at UCLA in the, during their winning streak of the late 60s, 68, 69, and 70, under Coach Wooden. And he was actually a power forward and considered probably the best power forward in the country at that time. And after that, he moved to Portland. He got picked, I think he was the second pick for uh, Portland Trailblazers in 1971. He played in Portland from 71 to 76. Most valuable player. He was on the all-star team three or four years in a row. So uh, this car, he purchased new in 1974. Porsche had three models, and really six models. They had a 911 base model. They had a 911S, which had more horsepower, uh, about 175 horsepower versus, I think, 150. And they had a Carrera. A Carrera has a 911S engine. Carrera has wider um, fenders in the back, wider wheels in the back. The 74 Carrera has a ducktail spoiler, which is a unique feature that came out on the 73 Carreras, which are iconic, um, in some cases million dollar cars today. Um, Porsches had coupes and Targas. They had a regular coupe, a sunroof coupe, and they made this Targa, which has a removable Targa top. It was the most expensive Porsche you could buy in 1974. And because of that, you know, they didn't sell a lot of them. They sold about 234 in the United States in 1974. They sold about four or 500 of the coupes, but only 234 of the Targa. So this is actually number 181 out of 234. 1974 is the first year where Porsche had an impact bumper, which had to meet the new federal guidelines for you know safety and I think either two or five mile an hour impact. Um, it's still an air-cooled engine, which means that there's no radiator, there's no water cooling. It's simply done with air flowing over the cylinder heads, and also there's a lot of oil in the system. This holds about 10 or 12 quarts of oil, and so it, it has a big oil cooler. So it's kind of actually an air-oil-cooled engine. So the, the oil acts more like water in a radiator, but then it does have air cooling. There's a big fan in the back that blows air down over the cylinder heads and, and cools it. And, and the heater system is simply a heat exchanger and then heat blowing over the headers of the, of the engine. There's no you know, radiator. The only sort of unoriginal thing on the car, and I kept it in there, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, back in the early 70s, a company named Clover Industries, and I think they're out of California, made a beautiful rear speaker uh, system that just fit on the back parcel shelf and um, that's still in the car with loud punk speakers in it and it's a nice upgrade and I, I just like to imagine Sidney Wicks wanted a better stereo and he, you know, he put that in there back in the day and the 74 to 77 911s they're really lightweight they're very similar to the early design that you know after that the cars got bigger heavier you know every year and every model changed so really they have a lot of the classic styling um, the 2.7 liter engine, when you do the proper upgrades and put case savers in the magnesium case, because that's a little bit of a weak point. Um, this car has Carrera tensioners, which is a really nice upgrade. You don't have to worry about the tensioners ever failing. Um, there's a pop-off valve in the air box, which was one weakness, is they could backfire when you started them uh, occasionally and blow a hole in the air box and then the car wouldn't run. You have to go take it to the dealer and get that repaired. Well, and this car never actually had one in it. I, I put that in there last year. The 2.7 liter engine is beautiful and, and it's bulletproof. It's torquey, it's got lots of power. Um, it, in a lot of ways, I like it better than the earlier Porsches that have the smaller engines. They're very peaky and revvy. They don't have the torque. I love the seats, I love the steering wheels. The early Porsches have funky, almost Volkswagen, Mercedes springy you know, seats in them, they're uncomfortable. They have a really skinny steering wheel, so I like the 74 and up. You know, interiors are a lot nicer. The seats are awesome, the, the steering wheels are fantastic. Especially the sports steering wheel like a Carrera has, which is a, a wider, thicker steering wheel. My name's David Hanning, I'm a one-man shop. I, I do one car at a time and then, you know, sell them. So this car is now for sale. It's hard to describe, but I remember driving a 911S Targa back in 1974 and 5 and I would say this car is 
about as close as you can get to like a brand new 1974 911. Uh, or maybe it's a one or two year old used car. It's 1976, so it's a two year old used car. And uh, it really runs and drives um, just like that. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, it's really sublime, it's amazing.